It is so important that parents trust us. It's not myself I'm thinking about. I've never been one for self. It's all those others like me, all those nannies who have devoted their lives to taking care of other people's children. Oh, um, my Chevrolet Tahoe got stuck here in the river. The, took a tractor to haul it out back assward. It didn't make it crossing because the passenger side constant velocity axle broke. I am here to fix it. I have my Zolio satellite communicator with me so that I can tell people if I'm in trouble or not. Um, got canyon walls surrounded and I'm still getting satellite communication. So that's pretty dog, dog garn cool. <sighs> I'm not saying everybody should buy one but because this is not a commercial. Oh, woof. <sighs> I knew it was gonna break. So I bought a new one five years ago. Talk about good planning. So I finally get to install it. In retrospect, I wish I had installed the new one back at the ranch. Yeah. Oh, I don't like scissor jacks, but that's all I had. And I couldn't get the blocks, wood blocks I wanted into the ATV to bring them here because it was full. So that's supposed to save my f life. Um, yeah, it's not going to, but anyhow. The axle nut. Constant velocity axle nut. Since the uh, bloody thing is broken, how do I remove that nut? Normally, I would put the vehicle in four-wheel drive forward, and this would not spin. So, I've jammed this puppy in there. And, where the fuck is my wrench? Where did I put my wrench? Uh, the priestess staying in a cabin to the west of here left the stick on my vehicle hood to let me know that she was here. Where the fuck is my wrench? There it is. Uh, wow. Uh, big ass. This is a uh, one and seven sixteenths. And I do have that wheel spacer on here. I don't want to use them, but on this vehicle, I had to for snow reasons. Anyhow, I'm going to get that nut off. Oh. I like these axle nuts because they're crimped. See that crimp? And it puts two flats on the nut. And that's, it works just as well as a crown nut, only much tighter. So, tractor tool was good enough to pull that fucker off. I mean, the thing off. <sighs> Maybe I'll bleep that. So, how does one get the broken axle out? I'm glad you asked. I'll show you. If the axle is tight in there and you can't remove it just by pushing it, try making a rebar point. This is a punch. And I've ground that down on the bench grinder so that it will fit the 
notch in there. But, oh, by the way, then use the hammer gently. But I just pushed that sucker out there with my hand. So I didn't need the punch. Woohoo. So to get those 15 millimeter bolts out there, I put the vehicle transmission into four wheel drive and I loosened three of these. Now I have to put the vehicle in rear drive, rotate the thing so that I can see the other two bolts and then put it back into four wheel drive. By the way, Priestess Lady left a chocolate thing for me. Never mind, it's 88 degrees in the shade outside and quite a bit warmer inside the vehicle. Oh, that just cracks me up. I'll put it in the freezer and then unwrap it. It was quite nice of her to do that. By the way, the broken piece is awfully sharp. Should wear gloves, huh? I have gloves. Okay, so the broken CV is out. I can hardly wait to put the new one in. Is that a clean bandage or what? I mean, there's absolutely no chance of infection or anything. Yeah. I shall now install the new one. Notice this crush washer here. You want to make sure that the old one was removed. Um, old one's probably still good, but the CV axle comes with that crush washer. And... Uh-oh. I put it on there so I wouldn't lose it. The crush nut. You can see the crushing marks or crimping marks. I can hardly wait to get this all done. By the way, I crammed the wheel in there just in case the jack gave way. Uh, the new one's in! Well, not really. I just slipped her in there and I still have the bolts to put on. I'm gonna do these bolts first um, so that I don't have to jam the wheel uh, to tighten everything. And then I'll do the... that one. And when I tighten that nut, it'll suck the uh, piece towards the wheel here. So, those first. Okay. I put two bolts in there loosely, did not tighten them. And the vehicle is in rear wheel drive. I can rotate this and put in the other bolts. Then when I'm ready to tighten them, I have to put it in... Um, four-wheel drive. So, here we go. Okay, so six bolts are on. They get 58 foot-pounds to tighten. <sighs> the axle nut gets 108 foot-pounds. And the new crush washer is in there. i got to make sure that's in there. So I tighten the puppy up. That's pulling the axle towards the wheel. And once them crimps get in place, you need the rinse. See? Hey. Never could figure out the iPhone how it fucking works. Okay, so we wrenched that puppy. Oh! You can see that nut pulled the axle towards the wheel, cinched that puppy up. By the way, I loathe these things. These should not be on highways. Don't use these on highways. Dang it. Uh, I put them on the Tahoe because the only job the Tahoe does is 
drive through mud and snow. Tahoe will not drive properly on the road. And even if it did, it would fall apart at, like, road speed. Now, put the ring spacer back on, then the wheel, and then we're good to go. Woohoo! I forgot to say why. I want the load on the axle where it's been engineered to be. And putting the wheel out two inches farther, it changes the load. And some say, some people say that it will change the way a vehicle drives, and that is true. So, I do not like these. Nor do I like green eggs and ham. Of course, I'm a vegetarian. Okay, we're good to go. I have two notes. The lug nuts, or number one note, are tightened at 140 foot-pounds. The second note is, I never would have loaded that 44 and put myself behind a jailhouse door if it hadn't been, if it hadn't been for love. I'm out of here. This is the road. I can't move all this shit by hand, so time for a bulldozer. Look at this. Uh, how do I get the Tahoe over this? Well, it's part of being a cowboy. You have to deal with this shit. Mm.